Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tamlin and this is Sewn on the Tine and I'm here today with a bit of a bumper Friday sews. I'm going to be talking to you mainly about some new things that I've sewn and also acquired, but also, you know, just a little bit of a general catch up. So here we are, it's the 19th of April, which I just find crazy. The weather here in the UK, you're probably all bored of us talking about it, but it's still pretty dreadful. We haven't seen any sunshine for a long time and I'm really desperate for some. I have been super busy recently to the point where I feel like I almost reached a sort of burnout level and got a bit run down and ended up being poorly at the start of this week. So yeah, I'm trying to get back on track and kind of take things a little bit easier, reset my headspace, get a few things ticked off the to-do list and yeah, here we are. This is one of the things that I really wanted to do. I wanted to come on and have a catch up with you. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to start off by talking about what I'm wearing and this is my latest make. And this little segment of the video is actually sponsored by Forget Me Not Patterns. So they got in touch with me and asked if I would like to work with them. So I had a little look at their website first. I didn't just immediately say yes because I wanted to check that sort of our aesthetic aligned and that I was happy promoting them as a business. So I went over and had a little look at their website and I really liked what I saw. There's some gorgeous patterns on there. And I said, yes, I would love to work with you. So in the month of April, they were promoting two of their older patterns that they have recently re-released in their new full size range. So those two patterns are the Iris Pleated Tee, which is what I'm wearing, and the Ella Skirt. So yes, they asked me if I wanted to sew up either the Iris Tee or the Ella Skirt, and I thought the Iris Tee looked really unique. It's called the Iris Pleated Tee, and it's got a really cute pleat detail on the sleeve. So it's a pattern that's designed for knit fabric fabrics you don't actually have to do the pleat detail you can just go for a sort of basic t-shirt or three-quarter length sleeve top but the pleat detail is what really makes it stand out and I think it's a really beautiful detail you will notice that I'm wearing a grey just a dark grey I became a little bit obsessed with one of the versions of the pattern that's used in the promotional images and it's in a dark grey and I just absolutely loved it. I do have some patterned fabrics lined up, I'll show you them in just a second, that I would like to make this top out of but I just couldn't get this grey one out of my head and I love the colour grey, strangely I think it suits me and that's what I went for. So I got this from First for Fabrics and it's a bamboo jersey which is just, if you haven't used it or touched it, it's the softest, most comfortable fabric to wear and it's beautiful to work with as well. So I went for this lovely dark grey melange colour and I made the three quarter length sleeve version of the iris tee. So I'm just going to stand up and show you what it looks like. I've got mine tucked into my jeans because that's how I would probably wear it. So yes, let's have a little look at what it looks like on me. <laughs> I did just pull it out of my jeans there at the end just to share with you the length so you can kind of see how long it is. Now this is before I've hemmed it, I've just overlocked the edge at the bottom. I thought I'd wear it a little bit first and then decide the length that I wanted but if I'm always going to tuck it into jeans I don't even need to hem it do I? So it should be an extra centimetre and a half shorter I think, five eighths of an inch. So just to give you an idea but I love this did you see that really cute pleat detail on the sleeve it's adorable I'm just going to show you the pattern piece this is the three quarter length version but you can see here this is how you end up creating the pleat you do some folds here and yeah it's a really unique looking pattern piece but you get the most adorable finish and I absolutely love this. I think the neckline is lovely, it's at a nice height. There is an expansion pack on the website that you can purchase for an extra £2 to make a scoop neck version, although that would be quite easy to hack if you're quite confident in your sewing anyway, which I think I'd be able to do. 
although two pounds isn't an awful lot of money is it to support a small business so the option is there but I really like it it's sitting really nice and flat and I'm super happy with this I'll just share with you a couple of fabrics I am planning on making one of these with and then I'll just talk to you about the sizing of the pattern so I'm going to make the short sleeved version out of this this is a stuff of Denmark cotton jersey that I've had in my stash for a little while now that's going to become the short sleeved one and then I'm going to make another long sleeved one out of this which is another cotton jersey I picked up at Harrogate Knitting and Stitching Show last year. It's from Dots and Stripes. I think I've only got a metre of that, actually. If I've only got a metre, it's not enough. <laughs> so for my size, I needed 1.1 metres to make this top. The pattern requirements say 1.3, but I managed to get it out of 1.1. Might be a little bit of a squeeze. However, if I take a little bit of the length off, bearing in mind I'm going to always tuck it in, I could make it work out of a metre, I think. So yes, I'm planning on making a couple more in those lovely patterned fabrics, but actually I'm really loving this plain and the bamboo jersey is just super comfortable and I think I may want a couple more bamboo jersey versions in my life. So the full size range then goes from a 28 to a 56. So in terms of body measurements in inches, that takes you from a 30 and a half inch bust to a 58 and a half inch bust and a 32, it's very small writing on my screen, a 32 and a half inch hip to a 60 and a half inch hip. So it's great now that their new size range is much wider and can incorporate more people into it. So that's fantastic. So if you are tempted by the iris pattern, then I do have a discount code for you and you can save 15% on the pattern up to the end of April. And the code you will need is Tamlin iris 15 that will get you 15 percent off the iris tea from forget me not patterns all the way to the end of april i'll leave a link to their website down below and the details but yeah thank you so much to forget me not patterns for partnering with me on this i've got a gorgeous top out of it which i'm super happy with so thank you the next thing that i'll talk to you about then is something you can see in the background and if you follow me on instagram you'll have already seen this so the lovely Haley, who runs a business called stitched sussex reached out to me and asked if i would possibly like to try a couple of products from her website so again i had a little look at the website and decided if it was for me and i really loved her ethos and sort of the thought behind these products. So let me talk to you a little bit about them. So Haley runs a small business in the southeast of England running sewing classes and sewing socials, mainly for beginner sewists. And she likes to keep those either free or as low cost as possible to make them as accessible as she can. In order to fund those, she has designed a range of sewing themed merchandise, t-shirts and bags. And I love them. I went and had a little look at the website and I mean, if you know me at all, this is a bit of me, the tie-dye, the pastel, I love it. There's so many different designs as well, lots of different colours, styles, different wordings as well. If you don't refer to yourself as a sewist, then there are other things there for you. And she ships worldwide, which is fantastic. Everything is made out of organic cotton. It's made as sustainably as possible. Uh, all of the dyes are non-toxic, all of the packaging is plastic free and recyclable and if your t-shirt or bag reaches the end of its life and it can carry on no more, you can actually return it free of charge to the mill and they will then recycle it into new products. So that's great isn't it? So I went for this cropped boxy pastel tie-dye sewist t-shirt which I love. I wore it to my Sotune sewing social on Sunday and got loads of compliments on it. I love it. It's super comfortable. It's super soft. It's just the right amount of oversized for me. I went for the size 12 and yeah, I love it. I'm actually going to buy another t-shirt from her because I really like them. And then I also went for a bag because when you go fabric shopping, you need a bag, don't you, to fit it all in. And I really like this one, which says choose fabric. And it's got these black webbing handles and you can fit a lot of fabric in there and I'm going to Leeds very soon with Rachel and Ruan and this will be coming with me for sure. So thank you Hayley for sending me those things and do go and check out Hayley's website and see if there's anything that is tempting for you. They'd make gorgeous gifts for other people but also if you just want to treat yourself I would recommend it. Next thing I wanted to talk about is a pattern printing company. Now they're not new, they've been around for a while, but I just hadn't used them before until very recently. However, I was having a little look at their website and I decided to order some patterns from them. And 
I love them mainly because of the pattern booklet that you can get from them so I get my patterns printed A0 and there's two different options of paper that you can choose from did I say it's CLC prints by the way <laughs> the business is CLC so I get these A0 sheets and there are two different weights of paper you can choose they are £1.50 per A0 sheet which I think is great and then postage is free after the first £5 and there's no charge for folding or anything which there are on some websites but the best part about it I think is the pattern booklets so you can order different styles of pattern booklet but this is I'm gonna it's got a plastic cover which is glaring so I'm gonna just put that to the back so you can see a bit better so this is the one that I prefer it's a spiral bound pattern booklet with the plastic at the front and then you've got a nice hard cardboard back and then you've got your instructions which is just brilliant so I tended to previously always read my instructions off the laptop but I actually quite like to make notes and things as I go and this booklet is only three pounds three pounds for this instruction booklet which I think is really good value so I just wanted to share that that's who I've been using recently postage is really quick and I've been loving them so yeah that's the Daphne maxi dress by sewing patterns by Mason and I also ordered the Amalfi blouse by the same company so looking forward to sewing those up soon the next thing to show you is my bias tape from the specky seamstress so I received my subscription box for the month I get it every month it's a really lovely affordable subscription to receive and this is the design for this month which I love and I've actually been doing really well with using bias tape in a lot of my makes recently I've really got into the hang of it so this one will just be adorable to add I love all of, all of those bright colors on the black background Next up, I received a fabric that I'd purchased in a D-stash. Now, I had actually forgotten I'd ordered this. Just, it completely slipped my mind. And then it arrived the other day. Well, actually, I received a message from Helen from Stitch Rip Repeat saying, your D-stash parcel is in the post. And I was like, completely forgotten I'd ordered that. And even then, I didn't scroll back and look at what it was. I just thought, let it be a surprise when it comes through the post. And it was this. Lady McElroy viscose chalet that was in one of the So Haley Jane luxury boxes. And I just saw it on Helen's D stash and thought I'm going to have that because I always loved that fabric, but never actually got around to getting it. So I've purchased it from Helen and also she sent me the matching thread, which is lovely. No clue what I'm going to make. I think I've got three and a half meters. No clue. So if you've got any suggestions, for some reason, I'm thinking like a shirt and trousers would look really cute. But do let me know if you've got any ideas. Next up, uh, oh, a lady got in touch, a lovely lady called Patty got in touch with me and said a few years ago I'd inspired her to purchase some fabric but then that fabric had just sat in her stash all this time and she'd never used it and she wondered if I would like it and she would send it to me as a gift which was so kind. So it was beautifully wrapped in this tissue paper and ribbon. I haven't even opened it yet. And the fabric was this incredible athletic wear fabric from Wattle and Slate which I made some active wear out of a few years ago and I always loved it and I'm so glad now I've got some extra in my stash so thank you so much Patty for sending that to me that was really really kind of you oh this is a whistle stop tour isn't it right next up I purchased some fabrics a few weeks ago in the sale from New Craft House they had an incredible like clearance section on their website I just happened to see it on their Instagram and I think they had like 70% off a lot of fabrics I haven't purchased a lot of fabric from them but I just couldn't resist when I saw the discount it seemed a little bit too good to be true but it wasn't so I purchased this big stack of fabric that's three different fabrics there but there's a lot of fabric there there is three six 10 meters of fabric there and it cost me including postage 41 pounds which I think is incredible so let's start with this one so this is a blue obviously stretch viscose caddy 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 and I got three meters of this and it cost me 12 pounds 60 so it's just a really lovely weight of viscose and I just want to make a pair of trousers in this so I'm thinking of making the chanterelle pants by So Liberated which I recently made and I just thought for 12 quid I can make another pair which like I said 
too good to be true or too good to miss out on anyway. Then I got the Scarlet Textured Jacquard Crepe, which I think they had a couple of people that had made things in this fabric and they shared it in their Instagram stories and I just I had to get it. It's beautiful. This three meters of this cost me £10.80. So you can see that lovely texture. It's a beautiful red colour. I had planned on again making the chanterelle pants by So Liberated. Ah, oh, yeah, I was just thinking, should I make a dress instead? But actually, a pair of red wide leg high waisted trousers and the swish that this fabric would give. Yeah, absolutely. I think that will also be trousers. And then I got this, which is a sapphire hammered ripstop. I got four meters of this one because I want to make a dress quite a long yeah, maxi dress, lots of fabric. <laughs> this cost me £14.40 for four metres. It's super lightweight, super drapey. You see the movement there, it's just beautiful and you've got that lovely texture. So yes, they were my fabrics from New Craft House. I got those a few weeks ago now. If their clearance is still on, I will link it down below and I will link to those specific fabrics if they've still got them in stock. But do go and check out that clearance if it's still on because those prices were just incredible. Okay, a couple more things. We're nearly there, people. We're nearly there. <laughs> so I have received my fabric for the Felicity Fabrics blog. My blog is going to be going up in May and I've chosen this really cute cotton jersey with this like nautical seaside theme. So I've got a metre and a half of this and I'm planning on, well, I was planning on making matching tops for Taylor and I, because in a couple of weeks time, we're actually going on a little seaside break up to Scotland. I mean, what the weather's gonna be like, I don't know, but we're in a lovely Airbnb right on the seafront. So we're just gonna have a lovely time. I told Taylor this morning, I think it was the first time I told him, and he said, I want to stick my umbrella in the sand. I don't know if he's seen that on a TV programme or something, but he like showed me what he meant by like sticking it in the sand. Bless him. It was very cute. Oh, like a parasol. I wonder if he means that. Yeah, it was just very sweet. So anyway, <laughs> I then had to let him down by telling him we're not going on an aeroplane. Bless him. But <laughs> so yes, matching tops for Taylor and I. But then I thought, would it be better as pyjamas just for Taylor? I wouldn't have enough for then something for me, I don't think. So let me know. Do you think I should go matchy matchy t-shirts or should I go for just pyjamas for Taylor? It's adorable. I really like that one. I'll link to that as well, just in case you're interested and the last fabrics to share with you. The lovely people at Rainbow Fabrics got in touch with me this week to say, I mean, you know that I've worked with them a few times before and I really like them, I get on well with them as people and I also love their fabrics. So they got in touch to say that they're changing the way they're working with people slightly and they're introducing an affiliate scheme. So when somebody uses my code, I will get a little commission for that, which is awesome, I mean, yeah, that's a really lovely kind of payback thing. <laughs> so I've got a code for you, which I'll pop on the screen and I'll pop in the description box. And they have actually today, Friday the 19th of April, got a 40% off sale going on and 40% off everything on their website. But if you enter my code at checkout, I will get a little commission from your purchases, which is awesome. But also in future, my code will probably give you a discount on your purchases rather than a general sale. But today it is just a site-wide sale that everyone can access. But if you use my code, which would be really, really appreciated, I would get a little bit of commission on that. So they asked if I wanted to pick out a couple of fabrics this week and I said yes, and I have a reason for both of these. So I mentioned earlier the sort of burnout, doing too much, getting a bit overwhelmed feeling. And as a result of that, I really wanted to make a tried and tested pattern that I love and I know will fit me and I'll enjoy making and I will enjoy wearing. And I was talking to the girls about this, Ruan and Rachel, and I said, I just want to make a saltwater slip. I want to stop making things for other people and I just want to make a Friday Pattern Company saltwater slip because it will bring me joy. So when Rainbow Fabrics got in touch, I thought, well, I'm going to pick out a fabric to make a saltwater slip. And I went for this one, which is a viscose chalet 
and I just think it's absolutely gorgeous with that green background. I love this blue and then the black. I think it's really lovely. So I've got two meters of this. This is priced at $7.99 a meter and then with the 40% off sale, obviously that's going to bring it down a lot. So yes, that is going to be pre-washed and made into a saltwater slip very soon. I'm going to try and get it done next week actually. And then the other fabric I chose was thanks to Laura from the Specky Seamstress. Now I watched her most recent fabric haul video the other day which was adorable by the way because both of her children made an appearance, her husband made an appearance, it was just a really lovely video and I loved seeing Laura back on our screens and sharing some gorgeous fabrics. One of them that she shared was this which is like a mini checkerboard green viscose crepe. This is priced at 9 99 a metre and I had to have it when I saw Laura share it. So I'm going to make a little top and shorts set out of this. I think I'll use the Foxy Boxies pattern for the bottom half and then I'll see how much I've got left to decide what to make for the top half. But I just think that'll be really, really cute. I've got, gone for a bit of a green theme, haven't I? But I wore green the other day did I? And I'm sure, was it Ruan said, you really suit green. And it's not a colour that I tend to wear an awful lot. Taylor loves green. It's like his favourite colour, although purple is now taking over, I think. But yeah, I'm going for green and I'm happy about it. So yes, I'll pop my code and everything down below on the screen so you can go and shop the Rainbow Fabric sale. So that was quite a lot of things to share with you in terms of what I've got going on this week. So in about 15 minutes. <laughs> my mum's coming to pick me up and give me a lift to Sam's work. Then Sam and I are driving down to Oxfordshire for a couple of days. We've got a friend's 40th birthday party to attend. Taylor's going to stay here with my mum. I know he's in very safe hands, but I'm going to miss him a lot. So yes, yeah, so we're going to be down there. And then next week, I've got my So Tune socials on Wednesday and on Thursday, which I'm really excited about. And I've got a couple of Northern Soul Sisters things just to tie up, a couple of things to finish off. And yeah, I want to make my salt water slip. I really do because I'm excited about that one. Ah, oh, just to mention a couple of things I've listened to this week that I've really, really enjoyed. So the latest episode of Love to Sew podcast is all about jumpsuits and overalls. And if you've seen the sneak peek on Instagram of Helen's new pattern, which is a jumpsuit pattern, it is sensational and I'm very 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 excited about it so she talked about it in the podcast actually and I just really loved that whole episode it was awesome and then if you're a Taylor Swift fan today Taylor released her new album but also a b-side to it so there are 31 new Taylor Swift tracks to listen to today so Sam our journey down to Oxford this afternoon is going to be listening to Taylor Swift and I'm going to love it. I'm not sure you are, but I am. <laughs> so I think that's pretty much everything. I best go and just finish off packing and get myself away, really. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed catching up with me and seeing what I've had to share with you. Just a little thank you as well for supporting me in any of the like sponsored or gifted things that I have going on. I do really appreciate it. I know that I'm super lucky to be approached by businesses in that way but I love then sharing it with you and passing on the love so yeah thank you in always supporting me in those things I hope you're all doing really well if you don't already subscribe to my channel it would be awesome if you could and I'll see you really soon in my next video happy sewing bye the next th dear me so a lovely lady called Hayley reached out to me now I'm gonna say what uh. You can actually return it free of... Mm.